Okay, so what we're going to work on is we are going to make our own custom guitar body shape now that this blank has been completely done. While things are fresh in our mind, it's probably a good idea also to go ahead and to name some of these features. So extrude three is actually the rear electronics cab lip, rear cover lip. Extrude two is actually the main rear electronics cavity. Extrude one is actually the holes for the controls. Holes three, that's actually the bridge holes. Two is actually the pickup holes, pickup ring holes for the pickup rings. And hole one is actually the neck bolts. So now we've got named extrusions all the way through. So if you should go back six months from now and want to edit this file, you won't have to wonder what extrusion one, extrusion two, extrusion three are and so forth. You'll be able to know. All right, so with that in mind, let's make a new sketch right here for our guitar shape. This is where we get to have some fun finally after doing all the hard work of making everything else about the blank. What you're gonna use is the line tool to get started because this line right here that's in orange got imported as part of the sketch with the rest of the stuff. That line represents the where the end of the guitar should be, not here. The router bit could be anywhere from a quarter of an inch to a half inch in diameter. And as it traces around and comes around here on the inside of this line, when it gets to this corner, it's going to leave a little triangular bit of wood here as well as here as it comes around. And if you expect to run your guitar shape all the way out to the end, your neck isn't going to fit in the pocket without chiseling that away. So end your guitar body here. This extra bit of travel is just meant to clean and make sure you've got squared out corners in your shape. So I'm going to start off with a line right across here so I don't forget that. And most guitars have got a bit of a cutaway on the treble side to make it easier to access the upper notes on the frets that are in this vicinity right here. So I'm going to click maybe here. So I've got those two lines and maybe while I'm at it with the same thinking on the base side, the base side doesn't often come quite as far back. So maybe I'll put in a line segment that ends about there. All right, so I've got those three lines that I just created that sort of are going to define the end of my guitar. Now, the fun part is I'm going to use the spline command for the rest of the guitar. And I'm going to start at the end of this line segment on the treble side. And this, is going to, this isn't going to be pretty. But you, you click points, and it will do a best fit curve between all the points that you plot on here. And the good news is you can edit all this stuff. So if it's, it's horrible and you hate it, not to worry. Now, it's common for the bass side horn to extend out past further to help the guitar balance when you play in a standing position with a guitar strap. Okay. Now, to finish the spline out on this last point, I'm going to double click. And the line turns a dark, the spline turns a dark blue. Okay. Now, this is a hideous guitar shape, no question. But I want to show the process here. We'll finish the sketch and I want to get into an extrude. Now, in order for this to work right, what we need to have happen is both profiles turn orange. The rectangular blank, but also the guitar shape. If only one of them is orange, it's not going to work right. So on a previous failed attempt, I only had just the shape of the guitar and I didn't get what I wanted at all. So make sure you've got the guitar's perimeter and the perimeter of the block. While we're at it, I'm gonna go ahead and grab, click on the profile for these other circles on the end as well. And what they're all about is bolt holes for mounting the body to the table for machining. And I wanna get rid of all that stuff too. 
and the bigger circle indicates kind of like a safety zone, like don't let the cutter get too close. So we're going to remove material and we're going to set this up for 1.75 inches. And when I do, it should also allow me to get this last little post at both ends. Okay. Click the check mark and voila, I have a terrible, terrible guitar shape. At this point, however, it's defined. And so now I can go back into the sketch four. If you want to rename that as your guitar sketch, my body shape sketch, just so there's no confusion about that. Now you can come in here and you can drag the points and work on reshaping this. And making this a little more acceptable for a guitar shape. If you right click on the spline, you can insert another point and click where you want it. And this is the new point that I just put in and I can click and drag that to further alter the shape of the guitar. This is really thick right through here. You can see the new shape, double click on the sketch, come back in here and now you can click and edit some things. If you do something and you don't like it, you can hit the undo button, it'll put it back. And you have, all, you have lots of control over how the body is gonna get shaped. And small changes make a big difference in the shape of your spline. So you don't need lots and lots and lots of points. In fact, let me see if I can delete this point. Nope, I don't know. If I do sketch entity, will that take it out? So. I'm going to leave it here for you to do some more experimentation on coming up with your guitar shape. Okay. Uh, make sure you're turning into me a screenshot. The other thing you can do is turn the visibility off on this first sketch. So that it's just the guitar shape, just like we've got the visibility turned off on all the work planes and so forth. So it's not pretty, but it's a guitar shape. So you'll spend some more time on it than I did with the basic intro and come up with something that you could cut out on the CNC wood router. Okay, good luck everybody.